everyone, welcome back. So I have a super special video for you all today. It is one that I've been sort of putting off. I've been putting it off because it is next to impossible to pick 10 fragrances for life. I have over 400 fragrances in my collection and I love almost every single one of them. There are very few that I don't care for. I talked about those ones that I don't care for. I'll link that video up here and down in the description box. I have a lot of really amazing, unique, niche and designer fragrances in my collection. So picking 10 fragrances for life is a next to impossible task for me. But you gotta do it. So I did it for you all just to show you. And my 10 picks probably will surprise you. Well, not all 10 picks, but some of them will surprise you, I'm pretty sure. So if you want to find out what they are, just keep watching. I have 10 that I picked out of my 400 plus perfume collection. It was super hard. As I said, some of them will not surprise you at all, but some of them you'd be like, hmm, you know, because for someone who has so many unique fragrances, some of these picks will definitely surprise you. So let me show you what they are. Well, my first pick should not surprise you at all because I love this fragrance to death and I have talked about it to death. And I mean, this has appeared in every one of my top videos because I love it that much. And this is a fragrance that my husband absolutely finds bewitching. I mean, he looks bewitched when he smells this fragrance and I feel the same way about this. This is the most stunning fragrance. It's none other than Fragrance de Bois Oud Jaune Entons. This fragrance you guys. Oh, This is the most beautiful bewitching scent. I don't know what other kind of word to use. This is such a stunning, stunning fragrance. This one is that beautiful yellow white floral fragrance with lots of fruity notes, exotic fruity notes, and um, that 100% organic, clean oud that Fragrance du Bois uses in their fragrances. And this has some musk too. It has that beautiful ylang ylang you guys know how much i love ylang ylang and it's one of my favorite yellow floral notes and this has that stunning tahitian tiari flower tahitian tiari flower is such a beautiful white floral note ah oh, it's even more beautiful if it's possible to me than jasmine and i love jasmine which by the way this also has jasmine and bunch of other white florals too um, but those are some of the revealed white floral notes in here and this has a bunch of exotic fruity notes like tropical fruity notes that make it smell amazing again that clean oud which smells so nice adds that just the right type of you know extra layer to this this has a, a lot of musk as well and a bunch of other notes you guys this even has a um i believe like an uh, an artificial or synthetic banana leaf smelling note if i'm not mistaken which you can't actually smell that but i can see how it's adding to that tropical vibe of this fragrance and this is the right time of the year for this fragrance I mean, this is the time to start wearing it. I prefer this one in the summertime, but as the weather warms up, you can start wearing it. It's just, I look forward to this time of the year when the weather starts to warm up to wear this. And this is one of my top favorite vacation, tropical vacation scents. But of course, you don't need to wait for a trip tropical vacation to wear this. Uh, I use this sparingly, no matter how much I love it, but because you guys know fragrance du bois is not cheap it's it's an expensive um fragrance you know house 
and I am kicking myself for not buying the larger bottle. This one is Fragrance du Bois Oud Jaune Intense. So the next fragrance is also a gorgeous yellow white floral fragrance, but this one is a very sexy musky fragrance and this is also one that both my husband and I are in love with. We absolutely love this fragrance and I gotta tell you, I, I looked at my 10 picks and I said some of them will surprise you. And I actually saw a theme in, in the way I picked these fragrances. Each of these fragrances had something very unique about it. And that's why I fell so hard in love with them. And this one is a good representation of it, a good example for it. This one is a super unique fragrance. So this one, I'll tell you what's unique about this fragrance. This one is Narciso Rodriguez, Narciso Ombre. This one, you guys, is so beautiful and so sexy, but so bewitching at the same time. Now, as you all know, Narciso Rodriguez fragrances, they are musky fragrances and they usually come in like rose and musk or white flowers and musk, you know, and they make sense. Those things, you know, those floral notes go with musk, but I never imagine a tropical or tropical florals like yellow florals, you know, like the florals that are in here, for example, frangipani, going that well with musk. I, I, wouldn't, I would have never thought of that. I mean, that's what's so genius about this fragrance because it's a super musky tropical scent. So that's what I love about this fragrance and it smells so stunning, so unique and so stunning. You, you will not smell like the average person, you know, the average scent when you wear this fragrance. I know this is a designer fragrance, it's not niche, but I gotta tell you, you know, no matter how many other people buy this fragrance, it's still going to be one of those fragrances that get attention. So this has Frangipani and Ylang Ylang, two of my favorite yellow floral notes, lots of white florals. This has amber, of course, it's Narciso Ombre, and this has a huge dose of musk, obviously. Um, it's a very large, massive dose of musk, just like the other Narciso Rodriguez fragrances. And it also has a large dose of vanilla and some woody notes. It's such a pretty, gorgeous, sexy fragrance. I really love how unique this is and I can't imagine kind of not having this in my fragrance collection. And I enjoy wearing this. Every time I wear it, my husband finds it absolutely hypnotic. This one is Narciso Ombre. So next I have a dark beauty that you will probably not find shocking when I say this is one of my top 10 for life. This one I love because of that unique darkness that this has. It's a very mysterious, intriguing kind of fragrance. It gives you this femme fatale, black widow type of vibes, you know, you probably know what I'm talking about. This one is my favorite rose oud fragrance. It's none other than Maison Francisca Gion Oud Satin Mood Extrait de Parfum. Now this one, you guys, I, again, I love this fragrance because this is so unique and different that alluring dark mysterious quality of this fragrance with that rose and oud you know that's what makes it dark and mysterious the road rose and oud and then that massive dose of vanilla that adds that sweetness whenever you combine rose and vanilla it's beautiful and this has a little bit of violet that makes it beautiful and slightly powdery and sophisticated you know the the oud is a very nice clean oud i just adore this. This has some ember as well. It's such a stunning fragrance, very much kind of like black magic woman. That's kind of, that's really what this is. It gives you that black magic woman vibes, you know. I got this from Twisted Lily. I have a 10% discount code for you all down in the description box because you can't usually get um, discounts easily on Maison Francis Cordian fragrances, not even on discount websites. Anyway, Love this beauty, my dark beauty. This one is Maison Francis Cardian Oud Satin Mood Extrait de Parfum. Now this one in my hands is a dumb reach for me. This is that fragrance that 
wins every time. It's a winner, you know, no matter what the occasion is, it's a dumb reach because you know it's gonna hit all the right points, right spots, you know. It is a fragrance that men love. It's a sexy fragrance, it's a feminine fragrance, it's, you know, one of those fragrances that is a winner. It's always a winner. It gets the job done. It's a dumb reach and you don't have to think too much and if you have like an overwhelming amount of fragrances like I do and you're trying to like rush somewhere where you want to make sure you knock some people out, <laughs> this is the fragrance for it. This is Elisa Girl of Now, the original. You guys, I know the flankers are beautiful too. The original, however, is always the number one because it is the most unique and beautiful and that's, again, see, the same theme with all these fragrances. I have not smelled another fragrance quite like Girl of Now. This one is quite unique with those nutty notes mixed with the white florals and the sweetness. It just, it's a very oh, beautiful fragrance that wins it every time. It's a compliment getter, huge compliment getter. Every time, by the way, the other ones that I talked about so far are compliment getters too. This one is every time. Men love this too. So this has, you know, that juicy pear note in the opening with the mandarin orange. And this has that pistachio note in the opening that mixes with the almond note in the middle and the base. There's lots of almonds. This is a very nutty fragrance and it's nutty in the most beautiful way. So you get nutty notes all throughout the life of the fragrance, you know. This has beautiful white florals like orange blossom, magnolia. There's a huge dose of tonka bean in the base that gives it the more, you know, like deeper vanilla scent. Not vanilla, but rather very deep vanilla scent that you get from tonka bean. This is such a feminine, sexy, womanly fragrance that is a dumb reach. If you are ever in doubt, you can't pick a fragrance fast enough, but you absolutely want to turn some heads. Here's the one for you. This is Elisa, Girl of Now. I'll always have this in my collection. So my next choice is actually two perfumes, but they kind of go together. It's the original and the extreme version of it. It's really funny. I'll tell you more about it later, but let me first introduce it to you. It is Killian Love Don't Be Shy and Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. Why do I have this decant, you ask? Well, because I broke my Killian Love Extreme, you guys. I dropped it on my um, Royal Crown leather boxes that were sitting in a basket on the floor after I filmed my Royal Crown collection video, my Royal Crown uh, house review. I hadn't put them away and I had put it on the floor in a basket and I was pick, trying to pick the... Um, the Love Don't Be Shy Extreme to wear and I just dropped it, my heart sank. It, you know, if it had actually hit the wood floor, I have a feeling it wouldn't have broken. I think that very hard, like, boxes, like Royal Crown boxes, when the perfume hit it, it didn't have a chance. I am so annoyed. So now I have to buy it again from the Sephora VIB sale. <sighs> anyway, Love these two, the original and the extreme. I have told you that I love the extreme over the original. That's my preference. Um, I actually have done a comparison video of these two. I'll link it up here and down in the description box. I've also done like a first or flanker video comparing these two. I'll try and link them all down and up above. But you guys, these are absolute winners. They are compliment getters. Oh my lord. This one, the extreme especially, ton of compliments. Every time I wear it, oh my gosh. And the original, same thing, compliment getter. This is that gorgeous honeysuckle, marshmallow, orange blossom fragrance. You guys know what notes are in this fragrance. This one is such a popular one. And of course, this literally has sugar in it. It's very sweet, the original. Absolutely, head over heels, love this. And extreme, the difference, the main difference is that the extreme has pretty much 
the same notes with a few differences. The rose note in the extreme is more heightened. So to me, it smells a little bit more sophisticated. And I said that there's something weird about this choice that I will tell you. It's because I did a Killian collection video, a Killian house review. Again, I'll link it up here now down in the description box. In that, that video, my number one pick from the house of Killian weren't these two. I mean, these were in my top five, if I'm not not mistaken but I picked Forbidden Games as my number one choice because it's a fragrance that's kind of like it had captured my attention because I had just bought it and you know it's kind of nice fruity beautiful fragrance but the reason I, I realized the reason why I picked this although this one was number three or four on my list of Killian fragrances I picked these two because these two are again two fragrances that are so unique. Before I smelled the original Love Don't Be Shy, I hadn't smelled anything like it before. There's no other fragrance that smells quite like this. This is quite a unique and beautiful composition. So that's the reason why I really love these two because they are head turners, they are compliment getters, but they're also super unique. They're very beautiful, unique compositions, you know? So that's why I picked these. I don't see myself ever being without these two in my collection. I have a super sweet winner in my hands. Again, this one is one of those dumb rich kind of things. This is an absolutely stunning, again, unique fragrance composition. See, that's what I have realized why I picked these 10 to be my top 10 for life because there's something super unique about these fragrances. Like again, before I smelled this fragrance, I had not smelled anything like it. This one is super sweet, super stunning. It is very unique and it is a head turner and it is a fragrance that performs extremely well. This one is M. Mikolaf Mont Parfum Cristal. Oh my lord, you guys, I love this. So, this is such a projection beast. Like, I mean, this is a beast mode fragrance, by the way. I can smell it over here. I mean, you guys, when I wear this fragrance, I get compliments from people who were in, hall in the hallway, but I'm in like a room, you know, like it's that how that's how far this projects. This projects amazingly and it's a strong fragrance and it lasts like 12 hours on my skin, on my clothes, of course, until I wash and even after I wash. It's like one of those fragrances. Ah, oh, this smells so gorgeous, so unique. It's a sweet fragrance. It's got that beautiful rose and vanilla combination, which is always stunning. You know, it's a massive dose of vanilla. And this has a little bit of a caramelly vibe, caramel accord from the toffee that's in this fragrance, which I mm, absolutely love. And this has gorgeous spices like cinnamon, pink pepper, you know. There's that rose and vanilla and there's that toffee Lots of amber, as you can tell how dark the juice is. It's lots of amber. And there's musk, which makes it very sexy too. It's a, it's a composition that I absolutely adore. Again, there's no other fragrance like this that smells quite like it. This is in my top 10 for life because, again, it's a winner. It's one of those fragrances that I know I'm going to get compliments on. I know I'm going to get attention people's attention. I know it's going to smell amazing. It smells sweet, smells feminine, smells stunning, drop dead gorgeous. This is Mont Parfum Cristal. So the next one is from a designer luxury collection. This is a collection that I absolutely adore and I have the entire collection. You probably guessed it. It's of course Christian Louboutin Louvi World Collection. I have the whole collection, the original seven and the um, Entente versions, the three of them that uh, they released later. But the one that I can't live without is right here. This one is Christian Louboutin Louvi Raj. Oh my Lord. This is the most unique, gorgeous, sexy, uh, leather fragrance, but you know, I used to be scared of 
leather fragrances or just when I hear the, the word leather, I'm like, oh, that's going to smell masculine or something. Like, I didn't understand leather, you know. I do now because leather can be done as sexy as this one right here. This one is the sexiest, sexiest leather fragrance I have ever smelled, period. I mean, I have some other beautiful ones like Zerjoff Muse, you know, which is a, a stunning one. But you guys, this one is, oh, just so stunning. Mm, I believe this has um, pink pepper uh, suede. The, the leather cord comes from the suede that's in here and, and uh, cedar or something, some woody note. As you know, Christian Louboutin doesn't reveal all the fragrance notes. It's just going to be three of dozens of fragrance notes that is in this composition. This one is a stunner. This is the kind of sexy fragrance that I want to wear when I go out at night. Like if I ever get the chance to go out clubbing again or, you know, like go out to have drinks or something. I want to wear this with leather pants and a very sexy top. That type of fragrance. And this is a completely unisex fragrance, you know. Um, but to me, this is going to smell sexy on a woman or a man. But especially on a woman, I got to say, oh, this smells amazing on me. This one is a compliment getter. This one projects like crazy. This one is one that lasts super long. I mean, this will last on your clothes even after you wash them. And on your skin, going on like 12 hours, it's a very long lasting fragrance, definitely over eight hours. Beautiful, sexy fragrance. Um, it's a little bit sweet too. I just find it absolutely sexy. I can't believe this was not my first Christian Louboutin Luby World Collection purchase. I didn't know, I, I didn't realize it was this sexy. I mean, I've read fragrance notes and I got like three or four other ones before I got this. Oh my goodness, if I knew how it is smelled. None of the reviews I saw on this fragrance, there weren't that many out when I first got my hands on all of these Christian Louboutin Louboutin collection fragrances. There, there weren't that many at all. And the ones I saw didn't do justice to this fragrance. Now there is, of course, there's my video uh, reviewing the entire collection, the whole collection. I'll link it up here and down in the description box, but Love this one. Can't imagine living without it. This one is Christian Louboutin Luby Raj. My next choice is also a very unique fragrance. Before this fragrance and its original were released, there was nothing that smelled like it. It's an absolutely stunning, unique fragrance that just really stood on its own, you know, and it really made a splash throughout the fragrance community. And, you know, when it was released, people were going nuts for this fragrance because it's, it's, it was the first time all of us had ever smelled anything like this. And that's why I still love this fragrance and this one and the original. But my preference is this one. This is, of course, Parfum de Harley Delina exclusive. I love the original too, but that rhubarb note with that sourness and, and green cutting through can be a little bit much for people sometimes it could give people a headache whereas the exclusive version doesn't have that sharp rhubarb sour green note you know this one is everything the original is without that you know sharp sourness and the greenness but very unique composition i mean i don't know anything that smelled like this of course now there are like dupes and other stuff but what i mean is you know, this composition before it was created by the performer, no one knew a fragrance like this. You know, this is why this is in my top 10 for life. I can't imagine ever being without this in my collection. Of course, you guys know the composition of this fragrance is very popular. This has got that gorgeous, juicy, lychee note that gives it that very unique, fruity touch in the opening with, I think there's pear and you know, maybe citrus, I think maybe bergamot in the opening too. This one also has that gorgeous Turkish rose note that, you know, is, you know, in all three Delinas, you know, the original Delina 
exclusive and la rose this has some incense in it this has a little bit of oud which i don't think the original has this has a little bit of an oriental vibe from that oud and of course this has a, a massive dose of vanilla and amber and uh, woody notes i believe Again, very unique composition. Nothing like this existed before this came out. Again, I love this beautiful feminine bottle. This is like one of my favorite fragrance bottles in my collection. By the way, I also love performance of this fragrance. It's super long lasting and it projects. It's, it's, a, it's a fragrance that performs well, leaves a good sillage. This is Parfums de Marley Delina exclusive. So last two are oldies but goodies. I have not gotten sick of these two fragrances. These are both old fragrances. Like these are not new releases. These are at least maybe 10 years old, I believe. Uh, but they're oldies but goodies and they never get old for me no matter how many super expensive niche fragrances I buy. So this one is Victor and Rolf Bonbon Couture. I love the original Bonbon too, but the Couture version is extra sexy and this one performs better, lasts longer, a great projection. This is a base mode fragrance. So this one, you guys, has white florals and stuff. This one has that caramel accord from the caramel. This is vanilla and all that. But what makes this different and unique from the original is the white tobacco note that's in here. I think that's what gives this one that edge, you know? So this one has peach, neroli, and mandarin orange, I believe, in the, in the opening. This has some beautiful white florals like orange blossom, jasmine, with that big, 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 big dose of caramel that's, oh, so delicious. Um, this has, of course, a massive dose of vanilla. This has that white tobacco. This has some patchouli and sandalwood. Ah, uh, I just absolutely love, love, love the way this smells. This is very caramelly, very sweet. Um, you can smell the orange blossom actually in this fragrance. This one is a little bit balsamic too, actually. I have reason to believe that there are maybe one or two balsam notes in here, balsam resin notes, um, and, and maybe a little bit of ember too um, in here as well. I mean, look at this bottle. How feminine and cute is this bottle? Love having this in my collection. I will never be without it. I know this is a, oh, everyday designer fragrance. I don't care. It's beautiful. No matter how many super special 400, 500, 600 dollar niche fragrances I add to my collection, to me all those can be, you know, fragrances I could live without. But this one, I will always have a, a soft spot for this. This was one of my very first fragrances that I ever bought. This one is Victor and Rolf Bonbon Couture. And the last one is another oldie but a goodie. It never gets old. I never get tired of this fragrance. Unfortunately, I heard that it is being discontinued. I don't know what madness drives uh, perfume houses to discontinue their best fragrances. Never understood it. But I'm actually going to talk about this flanker, which is in my top 10, and its original both. I didn't bring the original one down, but this one is, of course, Lancome La Nuit Tresor a la Folie. This is being discontinued. I bought two backups, you guys. That's how crazy I am about this. I'll never be without it in my collection. But I love the original as well. The original La Nuit Tresor a la Folie. You know, if I ever run out of these, I still have the original that will always be in my top 10. And I know that they released a new flanker that hasn't made it to the U.S. yet. But if, if it doesn't make it to the U.S., I'm going to travel one of these days through Europe and I'm going to buy a bunch of that one. I'm sure it's stunning as well. But anyway, this one, you guys, is one of the most beautiful vanilla fragrances in my collection. But this one is a party vanilla. That's what I like to to say about this this one is a very complex composition so this the difference between this and the original is that this one is like the original only very vanilla heavy so this is like the vanilla heavy sister of the original and this one is complex just like the original has like pink pepper red berries 
a pear, juicy pear in the opening, and I think bergamot in the opening too. And, and you get a bunch of beautiful florals in the middle, you know, rose, violet, I think peony, jasmine, whole bunch. And then in the base, you get that huge dose of vanilla, which makes this stunning. And somehow this complex composition just really adds up to a stunning beauty. And in the base, this has vanilla, tonka bean, and benzoin, which are all vanilla notes. You know, there's vanilla, vanilla, tonka bean smells like a deeper version of vanilla. Benzoin is a resin note that smells like vanilla. So a very vanilla heavy fragrance, which is beautiful, makes this fragrance a little bit sweet. Then you get like woody notes and ambroxin and patchouli and a bunch of other notes in the middle as well. Very complex composition. It's a party vanilla because it's a night out fragrance. It's a fragrance you want to wear when you go out. And this is also very good for date nights as well. A winner. My husband loves it. Compliment getter. Lasting power is great as well. Um, it's not like amazing like 12 hours, but it lasts like a good seven eight hours This one is La Nuit Tresor a la Folie. So those are my top 10 Fragrances for life that I don't see myself ever being without I Love them so much and it kind of shocked me, you know, like the Bon Bon Couture, the La Nuit Tresor um, and some of the other choices like you know, I mean, no matter how many unique and different, expensive niche fragrances I have in my collection, these are ones that I can't see ever being without. Now, you guys keep in mind, this was hard. There are other fragrances in my collection. For example, I've seriously considered putting Zerjaf Italica in this. It's more like top 20, I think. I would prefer to have done... A, a top 20 for life, but I wanted to push myself to reduce it to just top 10 so you can see like the top top 10 but I have a, a lot more fragrances in my collection that I absolutely adore you know all these fragrances the reason why I picked them for my top 10 for life because each of them had something very unique and different that that had pleased me surprised me and caught my attention that's different from anything else that I absolutely love and I love those compositions so I can't wait to hear what your top 10 fragrances for life are could you please tell me down in the comment section what your top 10 for life the perfumes that you can't live without it doesn't have to be top 10 it could be top 2 top 1 it could be top 5 just let me know what perfumes that you don't see yourself ever being without. So I would love to hear what your favorites are. Just kind of, kind of compare, you know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell for all notifications so you will never miss any of my videos. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will see you guys in my next video.